So this is question 12 from paper 1 of the 2015 National 5 SQA Maths exam. Given an al algebraic fraction, as to simplify it. Normally, simplification of fractions is something like 10 sixteenths, which you know you can cancel 2 top and bottom to get 5 over 8. So simplifying that, you'd end up with 5 eighths. Now, if you analyse what's going on, you know that 2 is a factor of 10 and 16. 2 go goes into 10 and 16. 10 can be written as 2 times 5. 16 can be written as 2 times 8. So basically what's going on is that you factorise 10, you factorise 16, and you notice that there's a factor in common between these two. And then one of the rules of fractions is cancelling down. In other words, you're, you're dividing the top and the bottom by 2 to get rid of this, or multiplying top and bottom by a half to get rid of this. Two, you're doing the same to the top and bottom of the fraction there. That's why these can be cancelled out to leave you with um, five eighths. So a similar sort of thing, if we're looking at this algebraic fraction, we're asking, can the top expression and the bottom expression, can they be factored? Now x squared minus 4x, there is a common factor of x which can be taken outside the brackets. Check back and see if when you get rid of these brackets you get back to what you started with. And I think you'll agree you do. So x squared minus 4x can be factorised. It's x times x minus 4. Just as 10 can be factorised into two factors, 2 and 5, multiplied together, uh, x squared minus 4x can be factored into two factors. x is one of the factors, and x minus 4 is the other factor, and these two are multiplied together. Now, a similar sort of thing for x squared plus x minus 20. In this case, it's a quadratic expression, so we know it's going to be a couple of brackets. In this case, first x times x, gives you x squared. The last's probably 4 times 5, and you know that the outside 2 and the inside 2, that's 5x and 4x, have to come together to give you plus 1. So a 5x minus a 4x would give you a plus 1x. So the 5's positive and the 4's negative. So you can double check that, doing your firsts give you x squared, Outside's 5x, inside's minus 4x, that combines to give you 1x, and the lasts, negative 4 times positive 5, does give you negative 20. So we can factorise x squared plus x minus 20 into x minus 4, as one of the fraction factors, times x plus 5 as the other factor. Now just as in cancelling down 10 over 16, you notice there was a factor in common. 2 was a common factor, top line, bottom line, and we could therefore cancel it off. Similarly, x minus 4 appears both in the top and the bottom of this fraction. So that can be cancelled off. And it leaves you with x over x plus 5 as the final simplified form of this fraction.